Oh my god. <laughs> if ancient humans could see practically an entire society standing outside in a line of a Walmart on Black Friday, they would probably crap their pants and puke in their mouths at the exact same time. Because <laughs> you know what they'd want to give you for a gift, whether it be for Christmas or a birthday or for anything? Freaking wisdom. Because clearly, our society is freaking sick. And if you want to know what the gift is, I have it right in my hand. You can get it for $3.99. And that is the Tao Te Ching. Now, hold on. <laughs> if you're thinking, oh, this video is not for me, wait a second. I'm giving you freaking pearls here. In fact, let me just dive into this and share a few examples here because they're super quick. You need to know this isn't just a book. It's 81 chapters and each chapter is less than a page long. In fact, most are even just a sentence or a couple sentences long. And just to clarify, before I dive into this, Tao Te Ching means the way or the book of the way. I have a couple videos on this. Most of my subscribers haven't even seen them or heard of the Tao Te Ching. So you may, if you've seen those other videos, you'll hear the same things over again probably. But here we go. Paradoxal truth. Nothing is gentler than water, yet nothing can withstand its force. Likewise, nothing compares to the Tao. By it, the weak defeat the strong, the flexible conquer the rigid. Everyone knows this to be true, yet few put it into practice. Priests are often the worst sinners. Government officers are often the worst criminals. The truth is often paradoxical. Like, holy crap, how, how true is that? People haven't changed, have they? Here's a great one. Ignorance. To know that there are some things that you cannot know is mental health. To not know things that you should know is illness. The wise man recognizes that there are limits to his knowledge. The foolish man thinks he knows everything. Like, wow, our society is rampant with that too, right? Well, this is why this is a, a gift that you should give to anyone, whether it be a kid, because they might not have any interest in it today, but it'll be on their bookshelf, and even years down the road, they'll pick it up at the right time. And the same goes for anyone. Buy this for people, even who you think just won't be into it. Tell them to hold on to it. And by the way, this is like the best coffee table book ever. It's one of those things you just lay it laying around, and you pick it up at the right time and you look through it and it makes you think about things that actually matter. So how about immateriality? That's an important one. A wheel may have 30 spokes, but its usefulness lies in the empty hub. A jar is formed from clay, but its usefulness lies in the empty center. A room is made from four walls, but its usefulness lies in the space between. In the same way, matter is necessary to give form, but the value of reality lies in immateriality. That is, everything that lives has a physical body, but the value of life is measured by the soul, right? Guys, it doesn't matter who you are, what you look like, what your capabilities are. It's about content of character. Am I wrong? And speaking of content of character, what did the ancients say about integrity? Which is better, fame or integrity? Which is more valuable, riches or good character? Which is more dangerous, success or loss? Overindulgence creates waste, Hoarding invites loss. The man who is content with what he has is not in danger of loss. The man who knows when to stop is free to go on. And this ties into the yin and yang, which they also talk about, which is there are some things which it is a gain to lose and a loss to gain. Think about that. So lastly, let's wrap this up with the very last one in here, which is called true words. True words are often unpleasant. Pleasant words are often untrue. Those who know the truth do not argue. Those who argue do not know the truth. Scholars are seldom the wisest men. Wise men are seldom scholars. Those who steal from others impoverish themselves. Those who give to others become rich. Those who fight do not win. Those who win do not fight. This is the way of the Tao. Now again, there's 81 passages or chapters, and I just read five, and there's so many others that are so awesome. And they tie into so many different things, whether it's the desire for power, force, war, materialism. It's something that every leader in the world should be required to read. But again, it's something that absolutely everyone should read. And the ancients, the philosophers of old, clearly had the human condition figured out. And now more than ever, it's time to help spread the knowledge. So you can give a gift of, you know, luxurious items or whatever it may be, and that's great. But if you are desiring materialism and gifts in order to be happy, it goes nowhere but a bad direction. It never works out. They've known this for thousands of years. And just look at the richest, most powerful people on this planet. I don't know too many of them that, <laughs> that appear to be too happy. I mean, you might know people in your own life, you know, incredibly successful, great jobs, lots of money, lots of luxurious items. But how many of them are truly happy? How many of them are drunks or cheating on their spouse or doing whatever and just clearly 
focused on attaining something that, well, you're just never going to get through materialism. So anyways, guys, this is, I would argue, is the best gift you could ever give anyone. So I'll just wrap it up there. I'm Jimmy. This is Bright Insight. Like and subscribe. And I'll put a link in the description for the one that I bought uh, on Amazon. That'll be in there. And it was edited, edited by a Sam Tarode. But uh, you can download this for free on the internet, different places apparently. And there's a lot of different versions. So get whichever one's right for you. But I'll leave it at that. Take care, everybody.